Are you guys tired of playing regular Smash? Well, are you? <laughs> you know, that, that's kind of what I thought, you know? I mean, why else would you click on this video anyway? What, why else would you click on this video? How's it going guys? Hypnotic here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your Nintendo Switch rent-free. Just subscribe! Now, there are a few physical things that you will need for this before we even continue into this video. Number one, you will need a computer. Whether it be a laptop or a PC, you're going to need one or the other. Next, you're going to need a micro SD card with an SD card adapter. And, you know, you can get these at Walmart, like, for less than $10, so it's very, very cheap. Next thing that you will need is an SD card reader. Unless you already have it built into your actual computer, you're gonna need an SD card reader, and it's just a sad truth. I know, but I don't have one, thankfully, because I already have an SD card slot in my laptop, so that's good for me. And the second to last thing we're gonna need is a USB-C type uh, cord. So yeah, you're gonna need that. And last but not least, definitely not least, this is the most important part of everything. You're gonna need what they call a jig. And this is basically what it looks like. It has like two pins right there if it focuses. I don't think it's gonna focus, but you get the idea. It looks like this. I'll put a link to all of these things in the description. But without further ado, if you have all of these, let us continue into the video. All right, so just as a reminder, this is not a real SD card. This is just a folder as a prototype, just so I can kind of show you, because I don't have my SD card in right now. Anyway, getting into this, we are going to check out the Arcropolis. Arcropolis is actually a mod manager, uh, not a mod manager. But it is a, uh... You're gonna need this, trust me. Just don't worry about it. Just download that sucker, the release zip. And that will be in your downloads almost every time. Yep, you see it says release right here. So just keep that there for a moment. Next, what you're gonna want is the SD setup. Nintendo Switch. So... It'll take you to this page when I link it, and then you'll be able to click Nintendo Switch. Now here is where people will, might get a little tripped up, but it's pretty simple. You just press minimal right here where it says minimal. You press select there, and then it automatically puts atmosphere, which is a big thing. So don't, uh, always make sure you have atmosphere. That's a big one. Uh, homebrew store, you know, just to kind of put it in there. No big deal. Um, you have the themes installer. You don't have to get this, but I'm going to just because. Next, we have Tegra RCM GUI. So, this is going to be a huge thing. This is going to be how you boot into your mods, but you'll figure that out in a minute. And then you just scroll all the way down and then press download your zip. And then it says building your zip. And then it should download right here, and you'll see you have everything there. Bada bing, bada boom, it's already there. These are three areas right here that you will need, so just keep those. Those will be in your downloads. And finally, before you even like continue, make sure that your Switch is hackable, because this is going to be a very important thing. Like they'll give you serial numbers on how or if it's hackable or not, and if it matches these, then usually it's unpatched, so yeah. All right, and the last part of this video, or this, the hard part of this tutorial, really, is kind of finding out your Arcadia Mod Manager. Now, this will also be a link in the description. It takes you to a site called Game Banana, which is a modding website for all, all kinds of games, like Friday Night Funkin', or Super Smash Bros, or heck, just a lot of games, Sonic even. But yeah, you're going to download the first link where it says five months ago. You're gonna download it by manually downloading it. And then it's gonna take you to another site, or to another area, and then you're gonna press download again. And then 
you see you'll have it downloaded and then we can just exit out of our browser and now that we have everything downloaded and all of our stuff in place you're gonna want to take these three files right here and then just extract them yep you heard it just extract all and the best place to do it is to do it on your desktop and then you can just do that by pressing browse and then clicking your desktop and then pressing OK. Then you extract. And then once you have everything, it's looking nice. Go back, go back. And then we should have everything here. Now you see you have these two files called PC and SD. And then you'll have another one that's called payloads. These three right here are going to be super important for PC. This is going to be the Tegra RCM, so you just click on that, just have it open, and then you can close out of the previous window. That's the first thing, just make sure to keep this open, you can minimize it. Next you have payloads. Payloads is Hecate, and this you're going to need to put in to Tegra. So the way you do that is you click OK, you go to desktop. And then you go to PC, oh not PC, I'm sorry, you go to Payloads, and then Hecate, and then you'll be good to go. Next, you see your SD right here. This right here is all stuff that you just don't want to click on. So you're going to take this, you're going to copy it, go to your SD card, and then just paste it to the root of your SD card. And that's pretty simple. That's pretty much all you have to do to get your Switch hacked. And it's very, very simple. And to get your mods in there, because obviously you're going to load up into custom firmware. So, I mean, why waste the time? Just click on the Arcadia folder, and then you can drag it. Well, actually, <laughs> not really. You click on Arcadia again and then drag the switch folder specifically. You drag it over to your SD card and then you can just put it in there. And what that does is it takes it and puts it into your switch. So you see Arcadia.nro, that's already in there now. So that's perfect. So now we can minimize that and then go back to your downloads, go to release, and then take this atmosphere folder right here and then just drag it and drop to your SD card, the root of it. And then it will put something in your atmosphere folder that you'll need as well. And then boom, you're pretty much good to go. Now the last thing before you want to completely boot up everything is just go to Game Banana because you know what? I mean, you got your modded Switch, but you want to play some actual, you know, modded stuff. I think that we're going to do the victory animation for Mario. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down, press manual download, and then press down, press download again, and then it will immediately download it for us, and that'll be in our downloads. We have to make a new folder called Ultimate. And once we do that, we click into Ultimate, and we make a new folder called Mods. And once we do that, then we can take this Mario victory screen and put it straight into there. There's one more thing to discuss. So after you have all those files on there, you're going to take your SD card out and then take the micro SD card out of the adapter and you're going to put it back into your switch. And then you're going to turn your switch completely off, not reset, not in sleep mode, completely off. And then you're gonna put the jig like this. So you're gonna take the jig like that and just slide it in until it clicks and you can't push it anymore. And then once you do that, you will go, you will go into the Tegra RCM GUI. You go to settings and then install a driver and then it will give you this prompt and then you say yes. And then it'll do that, it'll finish and then you'll be able to do it. And then as you can see, it says RCM OK. That means that everything is good to go. 
minutes. So after you press the volume up and power button, you press inject payload. Now it's fairly simple after this point. You see, you just press OK because it asks you to set the date and time. And then you will just press launch. So you'll see that you press launch and then you will click the very first one. So you click that one. And then it will say Hecate. And then you can take out your jig. Because it's the very first time. And then you can put your other Joy-Con back on. Okay, so now we are in. And from the looks of it, everything seems pretty normal. Nothing really out of the ordinary. But... Here is what you'll have to do. You have to go to Album, and then it will take you to the Homebrew. And then you have your Arcadia right here, where you can see all of your mods. I have these ones on here previously, so I'm not going to put those on right now, even though they're hilarious. I might do it later. You know, I'll just keep them on for the sake of the video. And Mario 64 Victory Pose. Those are going to be on. You press Launch Smash. Now obviously, when you try to go into Arcadia for the first time, it's going to say you have to go into Smash first, and then you can do it. So once you completely load into Smash, then you can exit out, and then go back to Arcadia, and then choose the mods that you want on or off. And that's the cool thing about Arcadia, because before in previous ones, it was always a lot harder to toggle on and off the mods. So this is definitely a step up. I don't exactly know what's going on with this mod. I'm not going to really try and figure it out right now. I mean, there's not going to be a whole lot of game changing, you know, things, but like, for instance, you have this stage, train stage, and then you have a couple others as well. I'm just going to, like, you know, uh, oh, bruh, it crashed. You know, Mr. Krabs actually is a mod that makes the game crash, so definitely if you're going to try out mods, do not try him out with as a mod.